Hello friends, welcome back to Evans Tech. Well, I'm back again with another series of troubleshooting videos and this time our topic is random reboot. So I will be discussing few points that could help you to narrow down the problem why your machine is rebooting unexpectedly and how you could fix the problem. Okay, so um, the first problem here could be the hardware. So you know, if you have any hardware devices attached to your system, make sure you unplug them, unplug them all, okay, clean them properly, the sockets where you plug the uh, devices, blow some air into it, clean it and then plug it back again, then give a try to see if that resolves the issue or not. Random reboot or a system crash due to a recently installed hardware, um, attached hardware for which you install the drivers. Let's assume that you have installed a graphic driver recently, right? Now, um, but since then you started experiencing the crash. So the driver that the OS use to communicate with the hardware could be faulty or could be outdated. So how do you check that? So that you need to open a device manager. Under the device manager, you see the list of devices. Okay. Um, since I do not have any external video drivers installed here, let me open up the high definition audio device. All you have to do is to select the device that you have recently get in this list. Just right click and select properties. Under properties, there would be a second tab under drivers. Under drivers, you need to see the version of the driver and the date of that specific driver. Once the once you have this information, go to the vendor's website and I'm pretty sure every vendor has got the list of the updated drivers. So go to the vendor's website and check the driver version and the date. So if you find that the version on the uh, vendor site is updated one, then immediately download and install that driver on your machine and then monitor to see if you still experience the crash. This is one point. There could be another reason. Let's assume like some OS problems you are not able to figure it out. So the best thing would be to always open the event viewer okay most of the time it is the application or the system itself which initiates a crash okay now after you open the event viewer expand the windows log under windows log you will have application and system logs okay so once you have these logs on your screen you have to filter them as per the level of criticality so click on the system and on the right hand side you have filter current log so go to the filter current log click error critical and warning and select ok now Another important point, if you know a time frame, you can select the window. Uh, I will select last 30 days, so hoping that you know I should expect some error. And I click OK. Alright, so I see some error. It's it's it says kernel power 41. In my case, this error is expected because I have simply power off the virtual machine. That's why this that is why the error was generated. In your case, it could be different. Okay, you can check the system log. Likewise, you can also check the application. Again, follow the same step, go to filter, current log, error, critical, warning, filter it, and then just see the recent errors that you noticed on the application. And just you, this will give you information if any of the problem mentioned here is related to your random reboot or not. Okay. Once that is done, there's also something called as system file checker. Okay, so Windows has an inbuilt utility. What it does, it checks the integrity of the Windows files. Okay, for this the tool that is used is called SFC, that is System File Checker. You can open a command prompt with admin rights and simply run this command SFC space scan now and hit enter. So what this file does, what this command does, it verifies all the system files, it checks the integrity and if it finds any file is corrupt or um, unusable, it will trace the output on the screen. I'll wait for this to complete, uh, while this complete I'll quickly fast forward the video and come back once we have the output on the screen all right guys uh, you see the windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations so i was lucky enough that my system is good and it did not find any errors so another step would be here um, is to disable the asr now what is ASR? ASR stands for Automatic System Recovery. So Windows has its own mechanism where it would you know, um, reboot itself in order to prevent the further damage. So whenever Windows encounters some, a very critical issue and it, it thinks that it cannot recover from that uh, problem, it will reboot itself. Okay. Now we have an option whether we should allow the Windows to reboot itself or not. And that option can be controlled from the system properties. So let me show an option to you. Ok, 
Okay, so open the system properties, go to advanced and the advanced here, startup and recovery, click on settings. So you see automatically restart system failure. So this is the option that would reboot your system automatically in case if it encounters a problem or in, in order to avoid further damage. Now, from one point, this is good. As you know, even if there's no free, if there's no critical message, the system would initiate a reboot. Now this would uh, again simply cause a frequent crash or frequent reboots with your system. So that is why I would suggest you to uncheck this option, automatically restart and control the way the system works. Once that is done, um, there's something, a last thing that you can do is memory test. Again, OS has this inbuilt utility called Windows Memory Diagnostic. What it does, it checks the memory on your system just to ensure that the memory or the RAM that is uh, being used is good. Okay, so after you open this Windows Memory Diagnostic, you get this option. Either you restart now to run the diagnostic or you wait and whenever you reboot the system later on, the diagnostic will kick in. Obviously, you cannot run the memory test while the OS is still running because we have the drivers and DLLs loaded into it. I select the first option because that's recommended and after reboot, you will see the memory test will start. Okay friends, it says Windows is checking for memory problems. This might take several minutes. And if you see this, it also shows the status one of two. So it runs in two phase, okay. And as of now, if you read the status, it says no problems have been detected yet. And although the test may appear inactive, it is still running in the background. Okay, so do not worry. It is recommended not to reboot the machine while this test is in progress. Okay, one more thing. If the test results are good, the machine will automatically reboot. Even if they are bad, the machine will still go ahead and reboot. If they are bad, it will give you the results on the screen after you log on to your computer. Okay, so I will fast forward this test and start my machine once the memory test is completed okay friends so this has completed and my machine is up I did not find any errors while the test was running let's see if I have any errors after the after I log in back to the machine okay and yep that looks good okay friends um that is all for this video i hope it helps you if yes please do hit like and do subscribe in case of any questions feel free to comment thank you very much for watching the video and have a great time ahead goodbye